Hi. I'm sorry I missed you. Um, I've been having Zoom issues today, but hopefully I can get you started and then we can continue via email if that's okay. So social emotional learning, the cool thing, so you're interested in um, health theories that were utilized in the design of social emotional learning programs. I'm looking at a monitor over here. Um, so I just, I, it was the first I'd heard of this. And so I looked in the library and there's like tons of textbooks about this. Um, and I looked in the scholarship and there's tons of stuff in the scholarship. So let me show you how I would dig through those and then how I would strategize on finding the theories. Um, and you probably know the health theories, so you might be able to look for those in particular. But um, I started out just Googling it and like, well, what's social emotional learning? And um, I got like a rough definition. And you might be able to go through these in education literature and see what health theories are. But if you're looking at like health promotion um, or uh, anything that's not related to like the K through 12 system, then there's other places that I can show you too. So let me go to first, um, uh, well, the library, no, let me go back to the library catalog. First, I'm gonna go to the database. Um, so you can go into education databases. This is where things like this would be developed, one hopes. Um, but uh, the education databases don't go back. So if social emotional learning is an older theory that goes way back, we might just find the newer stuff. Uh, but if you go to the education database, the first one, it's right at the top, education full text. And so I'm gonna go to advanced search and I'm gonna do social emotional learning. Oh, that's interesting. So there's different names for it. Social emotional development. That's not gonna be necessary. Well, gosh, I don't know. You might wanna use those synonyms. Uh, but I'm just going to start with this one. It seems to be there's a lot. I put it in quote marks, so it looks for those keywords all stuck together. And then one thing that's critical is we want this to be the main topic of what's going on, right? We don't want it to be some side thing. So I am going to put it in the title. So I don't want it to be somebody, somebody who did something that has a little bit of that social emotional learning. Sorry about that. I want it to be like the main topic. So I'm going to put that in the title. Just to start out with, I'm going to do that search. And I'm going to go to like peer reviewed journals. Well, it goes back to 73. I'll do peer reviewed so we get to like the, the rigorous stuff. Um, and then, you, so you still have 618. How do we negotiate through that is what it is up to you, frankly. Um, you could add the word health, which we'll do in a second, but you can go in under subject. And you can see where is this coming from. And you might be able to see teaching methodology. So maybe it's like the program development. So some of this might be just like the theory itself. So if you're interested in the program development, uh, <laughs> some of these are just all over the place. Teacher attitudes, student attitudes. So you could go through those. Uh, but let's add this one. So, so it looks like, so I'm going to put in health, obviously. Um, but do you want health promotion as well? Health promotion or promoting health. I'll do health promotion. That's more of like a 21st century notion. And then we can put that in the abstract or the title. I'll start with the abstract. I might narrow us down too far. Hey, there's 70. And we're still in the peer reviewed. So, but this is like methodology. So this is like gathering data. So motivational interviewing. Um, that comes out of psychology. Positive outcomes of a program. So there's a lot of program assessment. So you might have to dig in because um, they don't they all might be testing it from a particular angle. So health promotion maybe helps narrow us down. Let's put it in the title. So there's only nine. Yeah, it looks like we're just outcomes. 
You could put in theory, but a lot of them aren't going to talk about theory in the title or the abstract. They're going to be going into that maybe in their literature review. How would we look in stuff like a literature review? I wouldn't ask that question if I didn't know the answer. So let me, I'm going to open up a new tab. And I'm going to go to databases again. And there's a database that's really great at cruising through citations. Um, have you heard of it, Web of Science? There's another one called Scopus, but I'll show you Web of Science first. Web of Science Core Collection. And let's do that same search. And on this one, you can add a row so we don't have to work. Oh, it already put in social, oh, maybe because I've already done this search. Okay. Social emotional learning. If we want to know the theories behind this, we could do health. But let's just start with this one. And let me show you. So there's 378. And I can move my head. Where should I move my head? I'll move it up there. So what you could do is go, oh, these are like, there's another list. But how do I figure out what's important is you can go through. And so by default, it's going to do date newest first. So if you wanted to, you could go in and modify your search um, and have health in there. But another thing you could do is you could see who's what article's been cited the most. Do, 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 citations highest first. That means that this has been cited more than any other article with social emotional learning in the title, which means it might be seminal, it might be the primary, it might be one of the or originators. But what you can do with these, you can see one that looks close to what you're interested in. Ooh, theory promoting. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Is that a good one? You can see who cited it, but also importantly, you can see what it cited. And then you can sort those by number of times cited too. So what you could do is just find like the best article. I want to view it as a set of results. And I want to view it by citations highest first. Ooh, so evaluating structural equation models with variables, that's probably just their methodology and how they crunch the quantitative numbers. There's validity. There's validation. Oh, here we go. Research on developmental psychopathology. Is that one of the um, health theories? I'm not sure. You might have to just go through these lists of the ones that look the best. So was social competence, is that a theory? Um, this is how you would go. So there's no like obvious way of, of going through this uh, box of puzzle pieces. But the evidence suggests that um, emotional competence as a theory or as an observation or as a canonical um, set of, of methodologies, there's something to it that this has been cited in that article that's been cited a ton of times. Does that make sense? Um, spheres of influence. This one's actually pretty good. Teacher's judgments of problems. <laughs> I've, been the, I've been on the receiving end of some of those. Emotional regulation. So these are really good. Let me show you one more. Um, and this is like probably enough to get you in uh, trouble, but hopefully you'll find, you'll wend your way. So there's no obvious answer, but we're just looking for what people have cited. So if you go to the library homepage, go to advanced catalog search, and we can do that same search again. Social emotional learning. But on this one, I want to find textbooks. So should we do health or health promotion? Let's have that be in there. And then have social emotional learning definitely be in the title of what we're looking for. And when you search in the catalog, it looks up articles and books and dissertations. So you can go into the articles. We've already done that into a couple of databases. But if we go into books, um, then what we can do, oh, there's only 15. What you can do from here is you can go in. So there's one preventing school violence, which might be like a health campaign, preventing bullying. 
Educator's Guide to Emotional Intelligence, Social emo Emotional Learning in the Classroom. Let's see one that's, let's see one that's, um, how do I say this, online, a full text, because then we can go into the table of contents. Um, when you go into the book, it'll just have to be this diminutive link. But what you can expect from the books, especially the textbooks, is they will give you the founding elements, um, like the theories and things like that. And so all you have to do is go into the table of contents. Oh, the foundations of COPE are. And of course, it doesn't give us that. Oh, I want to read online. <laughs> I was so happy and then I was so sad because it wasn't linked live. So textbooks are great because then you can get the name of a theory and then you can go back out to the articles. Oh, what an adorable picture. Oh no, I gotta go through it like a, like a book book. So theoretical concepts underpinning COPE are other theoretical. So there's self-regulation, attachment theory, emotional intelligence. Um, you can even just see these in the table of contents. Does that make sense? So we were just looking up books. Um, and you can cruise through that way. Um, does this help? Let me know. Dig around and see what you can find. And then write back to me via email, and I'm happy to help further.